you agree that we're seeing a change, this, this theological term, as Josh uh, termed it here, in the humanities? Um, I wouldn't describe it that way myself. I, I think there's a turn to religion, whether that's okay. the same thing as a theological turn. Um, um, of course, distinguishing theology and religion is such a vexed hmm. problem in itself. But uh, certainly, uh, I have noticed just in the last 10 years, a huge increase of, uh, uh, in the interest in religion among you know, English professors and historians. I mean, everybody's talking about it. I mean, uh, editions of sermons, uh, you know, the Dunn sermons are coming out in a new edition. Um, um, Oxford press seems to be very interested in that kind of literature and giving it great prominence in their in their publication. There, there's some, clearly something happening in, mm -hmm. in uh, and you know a, a lot of the focus particularly in the early modern among early modern historians is on on the religious questions mm -hmm. uh, which I suppose is that's really what should be the case I mean yeah. since it's that's at the core of all of the big debates of, of, of that time right um so why do you think that is? Like why, why uh, this, why the shift? Well, I don't know. I mean, um, I suppose it has something to do with. I mean, this is this is kind of glib what I'm going to say, but it has something to do with postmodernity, I guess. That we've kind of it's been going on for some time, uh, but we've kind of come to the realization that the Enlightenment is over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's what it is to be postmodern, I guess. Uh, and with that recognition, this long winter, if I can use that metaphor, where uh, respectable history or philosophy or uh, literary inquiry, hey, you know, distances itself from anything to do with religion. Yeah. That's that's a profound bias, you might say, of the whole Enlightenment project is to marginalize religion and bracket it and, and keep it out of the public square. I mean, that that is, in some sense, no longer a preoccupation. Um, and, I, I mean, there's something liberating about the postmodern thing, whatever it is, uh, on that score, that um, um, it's not, in a way, it's not compulsory anymore, mm -hmm. it seems to me, to exclude religion from the big conversations. Right. A university like that, what are they? What are they then lacking, if they don't move forward with, with opening up to to a religious department of discussion? Oh well, <laughs> I don't know much about Simon Fraser, but I would say any yeah any university any serious community. intellectual community that ignores religion nowadays is just in a backwater. I mean, mm -hmm. they're just not taking part in what's clearly of interest. Everywhere. I mean, you, you go to any of the big conferences now, the 16th Century Society, the Renaissance Society of America, in my field, you know, mm -hmm. the really modern things, uh, everybody's talking about religion. I mean, I mean, there's something kind of perverse, I would say, about ignoring it, or pretending it doesn't exist. Uh, and there are a few old diehards who want to keep the Enlightenment going, you know, another decade mm -hmm. or so, but, uh, you know, it's, it's clearly the game is up, yeah. I think. So yeah. there, there's something kind of, I would say, perverse about trying to continue that old uh, uh, project of, of, mm -hmm. of shoving religion to the margins. Can't be done. Right. I mean, it's, it's irresistibly... Uh, all you have to do is pick up your newspaper yeah. <laughs> yeah. any day of the see week. Uh, can see anybody can, can see that, 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 that uh, that's what the discussion is, is frequently about, hmm. uh, in just at the level of the popular press. So... Yeah. They're living in a cocoon if they think they can ignore it, I would say. <laughs> if, I mean, I don't know about Simon Fraser, but yeah. uh, any institution that thinks that that religion can't be, uh, uh, um, you know, s seriously discussed is just missing the boat, I would say, on, mm -hmm. on, on what is of serious interest to people today. Yeah.